They've been lined up since yesterday. They've been sleeping on Lansdowne Street. They've been waiting for this game three. A lot of anticipation. Now the excitement picks up. It's a gorgeous Saturday afternoon, and it is a matchup in the ALCS. Not only between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox, but between Pedro Martinez and Roger Clemens. Yankees, it's brought to you by State Farm. Leading it off will be Enrique Wilson, who is the one guy who has hit Pedro Martinez well in his career. In fact, seven out of eight this season. Then Derek Jeter, Giambi, the DH, Williams, Posada, Nick Johnson, with Matsui, Kareem Garcia, and Alfonso Soriano, typically the leadoff hitter batting in the number nine spot. And on the mound is Pedro Martinez, a three-time Cy Young Award winner. And he's 50 and 15 in this ballpark. Joe Torre says, you don't go out to beat Martinez, you go out to match him and hope something happens. Have a job with the Yankees. A 1-1. Into center field. Fighting that son is Damon. Back in the lineup. Wilson is gone. Off speed base hit. Jeter, who's bothered by a sprain and a joint in his left thumb. What is that? Oh, that's the toughest time. Right side into the shift. Walker gets the lead man, and that's it. Runner at first, Giambi, two out. It's, it's just that, that bright background. That's going to be two balls and a strike on Williams. Walker. Scoreless first for Pedro Martinez. And now their old friend, Roger Clemens, will burst onto the scene in the bottom of the first. One in his career. And he tells the slab today for the New York Yankees. Here is the lineup for the Red Sox, brought to you by State Farm. Damon back at the top with Walker, Garcia Parra, Manny Ramirez. David Ortiz hits fifth. Kevin Millar, Trot Nixon, who has handled Clemens in his career. Bill Miller, the batting champ, is hitting eighth. And Jason Veritek, a big threat with 25 home runs during the regular season, is hitting ninth. Joe Torrey telling us in our managers meeting today that Roger Clemens is throwing perhaps as relaxed as he has at any time being with the Yankees and Joe thinks perhaps story here today 2-1 off Enrique Wilson he's in the lineup for his back he has trouble with his first chance on defense Left field, well hit, Matsui back, off the monster, Damon, ends up at third, it's a double for Walker here in the first. Got him on the inside corner, one away. before the Red Sox come up with two. Driven in by Manny Ramirez. They support Pedro Martinez. Two runs on three hits and a good start for Boston in this game three. They're on the short hop to get Ramirez. Posada hits one in the air to left center field. Well hit. Back at the wall. This is off the green monster. Can't tell me he's having any trouble seeing the ball as Damon caught it off the wall. It's a double anyway, but if you're looking for any lingering effect. A squirter and Pedro Martinez looks back at the side, gets the out. 
Our sprint virtual manager. I got to go with Pedro. Runner at second, one out. Matsui pops it up. I got it, I got it. That's Walker. That's two out. Have you seen my averages against both? I don't think there's a safe choice. They were both sent to the booth, and uh, yeah. they both needed help getting up here. They were kind of sick. Well, uh, and he is two-thirds of the way there. There's a fly ball into right for a hit. Here comes Posada, juggled by Nixon, and the throw is too late. It's two to one as Kareem Garcia cuts the Red Sox lead in half. It's not only a big hit because he drove in Posada. 0-1 pitch. Shattered bat and a fly ball into left center field for Manny Ramirez. The Yankees get one. A leadoff double not wasted. Posada got it. Garcia brought him home. We go to the bottom of the second. The Red Sox will have Millar to start it. They lead the Yankees 2-1. to one. Play ball. 2-2 two -two pitch. And strikeout number three for Roger Clemens here. A uh, strikeout victim for Clemens. He does, but he becomes the second out here in the second. And with two out, nobody. On three and one, that is ripped but right at Johnson. It was comforting to know that Ben and J-Lo weren't watching g -Lee as they sat in the front row here at Fenway. They're watching the game and so are you. Glad to be here. It's two to one Sox after two. For two is Enrique Wilson. One out here in the top. Cubs and the Marlins tomorrow afternoon, and that is hit deep and gone. This game is tied out onto Lansdowne Street, over the monster, over the new seats, and Derek Jeter has tied this game at two. We talked about that curveball and how Martinez was getting under it. He was hurt in game the first game he pitched in the playoffs and in the second game and when he wasn't hurt he was lucky to get away with that pitch there are some times where catchers have to can a certain pitch because of the prior history prior recent history and if i were jason baratek i wouldn't throw that pitch again because it, it's almost like the ball stays in his hand that much longer like that pitch that was a tight breaking ball. Pedro Martinez only five eight and a half, but his hands are getting the ball here in game three. And striking out the side here in the third, but not before damage is done. Derek Jeter, he knows what to do in October baseball. Hits a hanger on the Lansdowne Street, and it's two two in Boston. so far in the postseason for the Yankees 3-2 pitch is flying into left center field Bernie Williams one out. Chris Myers is joining us here at Fen Madeline out here at the workout yesterday the opposite way Jeter can't handle it and Damon is on with one out with a base hit in the first. Into center field for Bernie Williams. Two out. And Garcia Parra coming up. Left side for Jeter gets a nice hop. And the inning is over. Four out, 6-4. We go to number four. With the Yankees and Red Sox tied here at Fenway 2-2.